There are again three words that we are going to revise. Word number one, negligible, insignificant, too little to have a fact, you can neglect it. Word number two, paraphrase, express the meaning of something written or spoken using different words, especially to achieve greater clarity. Word number three, uncanny, strange and weird in a mysterious way. Today, we are going to learn the word digress. D-I-G-R-E-S-S -S -S. Digress To wander, to stray from the point, ramble, deviate, go off in another direction. Digress comes from the Latin digressus, which comes in turn from the prefix dis, means apart, and grati, to walk, to go, to stab. Digress means literally to go apart, walk away. From the same Latin source come ingress, the place you walk in, the entrance, and egress, the place you walk out, the exit. Digress once was used of a physical wandering or turning aside, but that sense is now archaic, which means old-fashioned. Today, we do not say she turned right and digressed down Main Street. Instead, digress is used of speaking or writing that departs from the main point or subject at hand, and wanders off in another direction. If we are talking about science fiction and you suddenly go off on a long tangent about the coast of cars, you digress. When you digress, you stray from the topic. In a business report or an oral presentation, it's important to stick to the facts and not digress. Example sentences. If she hadn't digressed so much, her lecture would have been more interesting. The lecturer temporarily digressed from her subject to deal with a related theory. His speech was full of digressions about his time in the army. Digress may also be pronounced digress. The corresponding noun is digression. The old man's story was full of humorous digressions. Digress. D-I-G-R-E-S-S -S -S. In speech or writing, to move away from the main subject and discuss something else.